is Christmas morning and I'm the first one up. I've been up since 7.30 and it's now 9.20 and still no one else is up. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you kind of our little decorations before the madness kicks in. So we have our we have some little kind of faux garland things. Our Christmas tree, which I have shown before. Still looking so festive. And then there's a bit of present overspill because Dan's mum came last night and she bought these adorable Santa sacks. You'd think we'd be too old for Santa sacks, but never. They have our initials on them. And then our bar cart is also looking very festive. That's where we hang our stockings because we don't have a fireplace, so we have to do it on a bar cart. But hey, whatever works. And our little Christmas trees as well. I love these things. I got these from the US and I think they are the cutest things. Kind of goes with the whole bar cart theme. And over here are our advent calendars. These are the most amazing things. Dan has two because he's just totally spoiled. Um, but my mum got us these large lint ones. And honestly, they were the best things. Like I had such a crazy December. It sounds really sad, but genuinely these were like such a little ray of sunshine every morning <laughs> um, and the chocolates you got were absolutely amazing i still have to open um yesterday so i didn't have a chance to but i will be doing that shortly hi guys so everyone is finally here my mum arrived about an hour ago and dan and his mum are awake now everyone's busy pottering around in the living room and kitchen and dan is currently putting up his tv he got a tv for christmas and we usually open presents in the afternoon but he couldn't wait and he reasoned with me that we need a good tv to watch christmas movies on not that there was anything wrong with our tv before but he wanted to do it so he's doing that now. I thought I'd show you a quick outfit of the day so I'm just wearing, I'm going barefoot, um, but I'm just wearing this festive little red skirt and this tartan top with this little bow on it. Both these are old but if I can find something similar I will link it down below. So I don't usually do Christmas Day vlogs um, but I just kind of felt like it this year. I don't know why. I love watching them. They're always my favourite vlogs to watch. I'm a sucker for anything Christmassy so hopefully you guys like these too. This isn't going to be very exciting because we're literally just in the flat the whole day so it's mainly going to be us eating and drinking um, but if you like Christmas Day vlogs hopefully you'll like this one as well <laughs> destruction already and presents haven't even been opened yet how's it going oh it looks very flat is that the TV yeah. Goodness, it's so flat. Like super flat. <laughs> so thin. If you don't try. I'm like, we're going to be at the end of the day. Exactly. Uh, okay, so that's what we currently have. As you can tell, it's tiny. <laughs> How on earth did we see it before? And then this one is an Ola TV. I don't know what that is, but apparently it's, it's special and worth the extortionate price that we paid for a TV. The panettone is being opened. We got this one from Costco. We've already eaten one of the waitresses. Yeah, it's, um, it's sure. a little bit. I think it's quite like jammed on there, so. Oh, delicate. I hope you washed your hands. It's so delicate. Happy days. <laughs> Dan loves Panatoni. What are we even watching? The stuff that's only suited for when you want to show off a new TV. Visual porn. That is pretty. It looks clear. It's the blanks. It's the blanks. It's the bubbles. You see bubbles in a second. It's just like, what the hell was that? So we are doing canapes whilst opening some presents. So we have um, some mini Yorkshire puddings and roast beef little things there. Duck rolls, we have some smoked salmon bellinis and some little roast pork things with a sauce as well. <laughs> and first in, as always. <laughs> Okay, so it's present time, so we are distributing the presents, and I realized I forgot to do the stockings, so grabbing the overflow presents now. Did you buy your own wrapping paper this year, Dan? Oh no, this your mum would have bought it, wouldn't she? Yeah, okay. These are stockings, so every single one has 
initial on it, so obviously mine is A, with different colour baubles as well. Albeit they are very skinny, so I have to limit myself to very skinny looking presents. We yeah. have some fire. <laughs> <laughs> in lieu of an actual fireplace. <laughs> you divvied up the presents. A little pile. And then everyone is getting stuck in. <laughs> Dan's doing his um, stocking, which I can give you a sneak peek, is exclusively edibles. <laughs> I'm so done with just disposable things, so I'm like, edibles only. Instead, you're going for disposable husband. Yeah. Diabetes. <laughs> Dan likes sauce quite a lot. And hilariously, his best friend, my mum, and Dan's mum also got him they all got sauces. <laughs> Box one is here. That's perfect. Box two is here, and he just opened box three. <laughs> Go on, pose with your, all your boxes. Down. I don't think I can hold them all. Uh, right, back to <laughs> That's a lot of sauce. Oh dear. <laughs> wow. <What>? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> on my left, we have a selection of spicy sauces. Oh, and in the middle, we have a selection of spicy sauces. sauces. And then here, for a change, a really large selection of spicy <laughs> sauces. <laughs> from Sophie Conrad and upside down at the moment. Um, I actually got these as a, a free gift because I spent over a certain amount. So I got um, the little champagne coupes, which you can see right here. How pretty are those? And I bought these um, candlesticks as well. And then if you spent over a certain amount, you got the crackers for free. And I was gonna buy the crackers anyway, so it was a win. Oh, Dad, what are you doing? What are you talking about? The champagne. Saved. Okay. All oh, right, teamwork, teamwork, makes the dream work. Right, um, yeah, so I got these for free in the end. And how beautiful are they? They're the rose gold crackers, and they're full on glittery with these beautiful ribbons. Bless them. I told Dan to get the cutlery in these completely flummoxed. <laughs> um, yeah, so we are halfway through setting the table. So we're looking very festive. I'm so excited for Christmas Day lunch or dinner, whatever time it is. 4 20, it's, it's almost dinner. And I've got dressed and Dad's still in his PJs. Hey, these are my Christmas ones. <laughs> but they're still PJs. Are we going out? <laughs> yeah, but everyone gets dressed up for Christmas Day dinner, lunch, whatever it is. I'll be back. <laughs> So I got sent this beautiful arrangement by a London-based florist called Fine Stems and they're online only and they do the most insane arrangements, they're so pretty and they sent me this gorgeous Christmassy arrangement and it has a little bauble in there, very fitting with my colour scheme um, and these beautiful kind of just branches which are all frosted, some cinnamon, pines and a candle, how stunning is that? They're called Fine Stems. They do seriously beautiful floral arrangements. I will link them down below if you want to check them out. <laughs> you still see the destruction ahead. Um, mix and match gold and cream candles. And we have our little champagne coupe glasses. And then our beautiful crackers. And we are just awaiting some yummy food. And purely to help you out on the vlog, we're gonna do a live action pose. Oh, thank you, Dan. <laughs> meal of the year. Or maybe I've done it a little bit. Dan is looking quite a. You have literally no greens on your plate. Literally none. I mean, what greens are available? Cabbage and Brussels sprouts. You don't like cabbage? Huh. Talk to me about some green beans. Oh. Yeah, we didn't do that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Alright, you guys, we finished up dinner. Oh my goodness, I 
I'm so full. I just, oh, I couldn't cope with my outfit. Um, even though it was a comfy skirt, I had to change into pajamas. So I'm in my PJs now, which are much more flexible with elasticated waistband, which is the most essential thing for Christmas day. Not even that late, but I was like, no, normal clothes are done with. So we are going to chill and going to help clear up because you hear the clanging. So I need to go do that. Um, and then we're going to chill on the couch. Gonna have a little break before dessert. We have a lot of dessert, which we need to get through. Um, we're gonna have a bit of a break because just can't do it at the moment. Gonna watch a Christmas film and then try and tackle some dessert. So I just opened my Glow Pro, which I got as one of my Christmas gifts. Oh, I'm about to try it out and I'm both really excited and really nervous. <laughs> so I've left all the products, I have to inspect those, I don't really know what those are yet. But I've been trying out a new serum, so I'm super excited to see how this, um, how this works and what effect it has. Okay, so I have already washed my face and I've done a face mask as well. So here goes. Oh. oh, it's fine. It doesn't hurt. I guess you feel kind of like a light thing, but no, it's fine. Yeah, that's totally fine. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I should probably read the instructions. I'm just, hang on. Let me have a look at the instructions. Okay, it seems pretty self-explanatory. Just kind of roll every which way you want on target areas. So here goes. You can definitely feel something, but it's not, you wouldn't really be able to call it painful. I think you're supposed to do it kind of a bunch of different ways. So like diagonally and vertically, I guess to kind of create as many tears in the skin, because this is a micro needling kit, so. I don't know if I did that enough. It said 60 seconds per target area, but. It feels a bit excessive, so I'm just going to start off with that and now apply my products. I feel like my face may be a little bit red, um, but yeah, I'm going to try and apply my products at the moment. I'm trying a new serum, which is the IS Clinical Active Serum, um, and this tingles a bit, so we're going to see if it tingles more with the micro needling tool. Okay, all done with all the products. Everything's on now, so I will see in the morning if I see a difference, but hopefully... Hi guys, so it is boxing day today. We are kind of recovered from all the food we ate yesterday. Well, we obviously are, because we're about to eat some more, so we're having our boxing day lunch. I just finished up filming my boxing day video, so I've gone changed into just a sweater with some little jewel bits for a little bit of a festive touch and just some leggings as well, so a bit more casual today, but I need the stretchiness for all the food, so <laughs> gonna have it much now. We were gonna do a buffet, but we have so much food left over from yesterday I think we're just going to do like another turkey meal now and then do like a mini buffet tonight but we honestly have so much food I'm not going to need to food shop for like another week which I suppose is a good thing um let's hope it all keeps but I'm going to head to the living room and have a much now. So I want to show you one of the gifts I got yesterday and I am going to be doing a whole what I got for Christmas video but I want to show you this one now it's obviously from Gucci and it has all the beautiful holiday packaging look at that pink how gorgeous it came with the little ring Ribbon. and this one was from Dan and this year we just kind of put money towards gifts for each other so I put money towards his TV and he put money towards something for me and then he got me this as a little something extra and I was so surprised if you can see that it's a little pink card holder so this is actually the same one that I gave away on my Instagram and I was packaging it up to be sent to the winner and I obviously went on about it so much how much I loved it and that same night apparently he went online and ordered this and it comes with my initials as well so he got it per size with my new married initials how cute I absolutely love the color it's the prettiest pink I love the pebbled leather the gold hardware this is just so up my street and he was so sweet they actually registered how much I loved it and then went online to buy it so so, so cute. I'm so in love with this.
table is all laid for New Year's Eve. Our mum should be getting here soon. We got these really cute little hats. I actually thought that these would be bigger, but they're <laughs> really quite small, but they are for adults, so I think they're just supposed to be like mini, like maybe perch to the side kind of hats. Dan has the more manly bronze and black one. And then <laughs> there are also some that say, oh, I heart fits. Super, super cute. And then we also have balloons saying Happy New Year. Dan's loving life over there. So cute. Hi guys, so it is New Year's Eve. I did not plan for this vlog to be as long as it is in terms of how many days it's covering. I thought it'd literally only be Christmas Day, but then I decided to vlog Boxing Day and the day after, and just here I am, New Year's Eve. So I think this vlog is going to go live tomorrow, which is going to be New Year's Day. I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing for New Year's Eve. So just a simple pair of black paid and pumps, a little sequin mini skirt, and this kind of silky bodysuit. It's very comfortable which is what I wanted because we're actually staying in this year so we are getting dressed up because it's New Year's Eve I always think it's nice to do that and usually we always go out for a meal in the city our mums always spend it with us but last year we had a good time but we actually missed the fireworks because the meal was really delayed and then we got stuck in traffic and Dan loves the fireworks and so he was gutted so this year we decided to just spend it in kind of having a meal in and we also have access to a rooftop garden here so we're going to watch the the fireworks there you get quite a good view so we're just gonna have a chill night no rushing about enjoying some good drinks and good food and then watching the fireworks so i'm going to leave the vlog here thank you so much for watching guys i hope you had an amazing christmas break and new year's as well i hope you guys managed to spend it with your family and loved ones and i will see you in my next one bye